Let's practice finding the volume of a rectangular prism using a specific unit cube. Uh, specifically, in this case, we're going to be using a unit cube that is going to have dimensions of a third centimeter by third centimeter by third centimeter. So these are going to be fractional edge length cubes. And we're going to see how many of these little tiny cubes would fit inside of a given rectangular prism. And specifically in this video, we're going to be using two different strategies or methods to figure out how many of these cubes are going to be and make sure that the volume checks out either way that we solve this problem. Before we even look at those unit cubes, let's just go ahead and make a sketch of this figure and figure out the volume of this prism first. Let's make a sketch together. So here we have a rough sketch. This is gonna be the length over here. This is seven centimeters. Then we have the width over here. That's gonna be five and two thirds centimeters. And finally, we have the height over here, which is gonna be four and one third centimeters. So now that we know each of the dimensions of this rectangular prism, let's see if we can find the formula. Formula for rectangular prisms is going to be area of the base or capital B multiplied by the height, that's lowercase h. Let's go ahead and see. Well, the area of the base is gonna be length times width. So I'm gonna go ahead and substitute in. That's how you get that area of the base then multiplied by the height. Now making some substitutions here, let's see, we know the volume is going to be equal to the length, which is going to be seven centimeters. Then we're going to go ahead and multiply that by the width. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn that into an improper fraction right now. So that's going to be 17 thirds. Feel free to do that later or now, whatever your preference is. And now we're going to multiply this by the height. The height here looks like it's going to be as an improper fraction of 13 thirds. So I'm going to write 13 over three centimeters. Now, while we're at it, if we want to just go ahead and rewrite the seven uh, centimeters as an improper fraction too, we can write seven over one. That way we don't have to rewrite an entire line just to uh, rewrite that one. So let's go ahead and just multiply these fractions together. Um, unfortunately, there is no cross canceling, but it also makes it straightforward that we can just multiply. So in the numerators, we multiply seven times 17 times 13. Feel free to pause to do that on your own for a moment. In the numerator, if we multiply seven times 17 times 13, and feel free to pause to do this on your own. If we go ahead and multiply those together, we should end up getting 1,547. That's gonna be for the numerator. And then for the denominator, if we multiply one by three by three, that's gonna equal nine. And so that's gonna be uh, the volume here. And then centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is gonna be cubic centimeters. And while this is the volume of this prism, we can also turn this into a mixed number by doing some long division. If we go ahead and do this long division, we should see that nine is gonna fit into this 1,547, 171 times with eight left over. So it's gonna be 171 and an eight ninths cubic centimeters. So as a mixed number, this would be the volume of this rectangular prism. Now that we know the volume of this rectangular prism, let's go ahead and use it to uh, solve the other parts of this problem where we start talking about the unit cubes and seeing how that makes sense. All right, so let's see how many of those little cubic uh, little uh, unit cubes we can fit inside of this rectangular prism. So there is the sketch we just made a moment ago together. And let's talk about our first method where we're going to be figuring out how many of these little uh, one third by one third by one third cubes are going to fit inside of this uh, prism. So for this particular method, to figure the number of one third by one third by one third unit cubes that are gonna fit inside of this rectangular prism, we're gonna go ahead and take the total volume of the prism and divide it by the volume of one of these. So that's gonna tell us how many of these little cubes will fit inside of the prism. Now we already know the total volume of this rectangular prism, so let's go ahead and figure out the volume of just one of these little cubes. So the unit cubes we're talking about are these one third by one third by one third little unit cubes. If we want to figure out the volume, that's going to be one third multiplied by one third multiplied by one third length times width times height here. In the numerator, that's going to be one denominator. That's going to be 27. So we have one 27th of a cubic centimeter. And that's going to be the volume of one of these little cubes. So to figure out how many of these are gonna fit inside of the rectangular prism, we're gonna take the total volume, which is going to be this 171 and 89 centimeters cubed, but I'm just actually gonna use the improper fraction version since we know we're gonna be dividing anyway. So one, five, four, seven, I'm gonna leave the units off for now and put them in later, that's over nine. Let's go ahead and divide this by the volume of just one of these little cubes, which is gonna be one over 27. Let's divide this by one over 27. 
Okay. Now for dividing, let's go ahead and make sure we multiply by the reciprocal. So we're going to get 1,547 over 9. Let's go ahead and multiply that by 27 over 1. And let's see, we have some cross canceling that can happen here. So 9 and 27 is going to be 1 and 3. So that kind of works out really nicely for us. And so we really just have to multiply the 1,547 by 3. And if you take a moment to do that on the side, we should get 4,641 for the numerator, and we should have one in the denominator. So therefore we should figure out that there are 4,641 of these little cubes that will fit inside of this rectangular prism perfectly. So that's one way of figuring out how many of these little unit cubes fit inside of the rectangular prism. Let's check out a second method. For method two, instead of going ahead and dividing the two volumes, we're actually gonna see how many of these little cubes will fit along the length of this rectangular prism, how many of these unit cubes will fit along the width of the rectangular prism, and how many will fit along the height, which is gonna be stacked on top of each other. If we can figure out how many cubes go in each of these three one-dimensional directions, then we can multiply them all together to figure out the total number of cubes as well. Let's start with figuring out the number of cubes that will fit along the length here. So our length is going to be seven centimeters. So we're gonna see how many times this uh, one third length is gonna fit inside of seven. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and take our seven, which is going to be seven over one. And we're gonna see how many times this uh, one third is gonna fit inside of it. So it's divided by one third. Now, if we're dividing fractions, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. Rewriting this as a multiplication problem, this is gonna be seven over one multiplied by three over one. So let's go ahead and do that. If we do that, it's really just seven times three and that's going to be equal to 21 holes. So there's 21 of these little cubes that will fit along the length. Now, what about the width? Well, the width is gonna be this five and two thirds centimeters. We wanna figure out how many of these one third lengths are gonna fit inside of it. So in order to do that, we're gonna to divide to figure out how many will fit alongside there. Five and two thirds as an improper fraction is gonna be 17 thirds. Okay, turn it into an improper fraction first because we know we're gonna divide. To see how many times one third are gonna, is gonna fit inside of that across, we're gonna divide. If we do that, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal of one third, so 17 thirds multiplied by three over one. Because we're dealing with thirds here and everything has common denominators, we should be able to cross cancel nicely. These will become ones. And we should ultimately figure out here that we should have uh, 17 of these cubes that are gonna fit along the width. And finally, what about the height? Well, the height here is going to be this four and one third centimeters. So how many times will one third fit inside of four and one third? How many can we stack on top of each other? And so we're going to take four and one third, which is really just 13 thirds if you turn it into an improper fraction. And if we divide that by the one third, we're going to see how many times it fits in. Let's go ahead and divide. When we divide, we essentially can multiply by the reciprocal. So 13 over three, we're going to multiply that by three over one. If we go ahead and do that. Uh, again, these threes are gonna cross cancel nicely because we're dealing with thirds. And then if we multiply that out, we're gonna end up with saying that we can stack 13 of these little third by third by third cubes on top of each other. So we know we can fit 21 of these little cubes across the length. We know we can fit 17 of them across the width. And we know we can stack 13 rows of this or uh, layers of this up and down until we fill up the entire prism. So how many total cubes can we uh, get here to uh, fill up the entire prism? Well, if we multiply the uh, 21 that is going across the length by the 17, that's gonna get us how many are on the bottom layer. You can go ahead and pause and do that if you'd like to. Then go ahead and multiply that by 13 layers here, 13 layers of the 21 by 17. And surprise, surprise, when you multiply that out, you should get this 4,641. That's how many total little cubes that would fit inside of this rectangular prism. Alrighty, so there you have two different methods for figuring out how many of these little uh, one third by one third by one third cubes are gonna fit inside of this rectangular prism. So hopefully they both make sense. In the first method, what we did was we went and we took the volume of the entire prism, was, which was this uh, 171 and eight ninths. So if that's a total volume and you know how much uh, one of them takes up in, in terms of the amount of space, if we divide them to see how many fit in, then we will figure out that's gonna be four, six, four, one. Another method, method or strategy you can try is just figuring out how many of these cubes fit in each of the three dimensions. And if you go ahead and multiply those all together eventually, then you will go ahead and figure out the total number of cubes as well. So both methods are pretty interesting to kind of wrap your head around and understand this concept a little better, especially in this 3D world. 
uh, and hopefully that was helpful. So if you found the video helpful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and sharing the video with a classmate or a friend who might also find it helpful. And as always, keep up the great work that you're already doing, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.